there's tragic figures and heroic figures in the record. Well, um, listening to David Byrne, uh, who, who has a has a sense of for for crazy, crazy stuff, crazy lyrics and stuff like that. Do you have any recurring obsessions as songwriters, like things you keep coming back to? Yeah, each record has different ones, you know. Um, the, the new record is obsessed with, with, with people who are obsessed, you know. Um, the Captain Ahabs of the world. The Ahabs, yeah, yeah. yeah. The uh, Philly Petit is a character in the new record, but anybody who who wants to do something so um, absurd and childlike and beautiful, just uh, out on a wire in in, in, in the face of his own death, you know, just that kind of insanity. The the record is um, has a lot of characters like that, and. Um, yeah, we. Is that, is that what you're asking? Am I? How did how did these characters come about? How they come about? Yeah. Is it something you you talk you talk about you 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 try to shape? Just because it's fascinating to see these characters, you know. Um, out of a respect or a fascination for what they're doing. Um, they're. They're kind of, they're, they're culture jammers also because they make you, they, they do something that makes so little sense and he does it in, in, on top of this symbol of capitalism and these, these towers that stand for um, the money and the corporate uh, influence that is so crushing for the human spirit. Um, and there he is just dancing like a child across them. Uh, unafraid of his own destruction, uh, and that's an exciting idea. And it's criminal in a way. It was illegal. It, 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 well, it's illegal art, but it, it is like the biggest art you can you can make, or something like that. It's like the biggest yeah. performance art. Yeah. Well, he likes he likes to think of it as criminal, but it's he's. He probably talking about it in that mischievous way is disarming, you know, um, and is a way for him to sidestep what's also a, tr a huge egotistical act, you know. He could talk about it like mischief and and have this air of a child, and it's all I think that maybe is all part of the act too. Mm -hmm. But it's a very beautiful idea. So, uh, do you see your own character reflected in his? Or is it too oh, much to say? No, I don't think so. Do, do, do you have I wish. Sense? I wish I could yeah, walk. Have... Why walk? That would be cool. No, but character-wise, do you have that sense of, of adventure and fearlessness that he has? I admire it. Yeah, we just admire it. Okay. But what, <laughs> uh, what, what other characters are, are, are on the record that are prominent? Uh, there's a lot of characters. Every song has a different kind of character. Um, there's a song about a hitchhiker that that is that jumps up and surprises a man on his way home, and he is enchanted by her beauty. At first, he thinks she's a ghost. He's enchanted by her beauty, and then uh, takes her in. But she spends all his money, and they and they have this twisted relationship where where she's bleeding him, and um, and and then there's there's a uh, story about about, about a man who is who finds a woman at, at an apothecary and is trying all these different uh, remedies, um, chemical remedies. And there's a story about a woman who uh, hasn't taken out her mother's ashes, which are sitting in an urn on her kitchen table. And is trying to confront, confront what that means, and find the the courage to, to accept that. Um, so there's, you know, there's. F there's there's tragic figures and heroic figures in the record. I think both, equally. Um, but even in, in the m more mundane figures, there's still there's still a sense, that they're. 
they're helpless to their own to their own emotions. So to, even in the inability to take out the ashes is also just this redeeming uh, power that 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 act has for this character, um, and the the kind of the the way that that the idea of death is so overwhelming to them. Um, well, it's interesting. It's like, in some ways, there's an interesting contrast between her and Philippe Petit, who's dancing above his own death, you know? Um, so you have the one who's able to express himself very freely, and then the other that is feeling paralyzed by the intensity of it, um, which is a feeling that everybody passes through in, in some times, I think, you know? And does your view on death is that similar to Philippe Petit's or to to hers? Oh, it's not. It's not. There's no uh, argument or agenda about it. It's just they're both characters that are that we're fascinated with. So. Um, But how would you say you feel about the uh, concept of death? I don't know. That I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's so important to the record. You know, because the songs in the record, there's no agenda, and it's not like. It's not meant to be interpreted as, as our statement about something. It's just, it just puts different images in front of the listener. And that's, mm -hmm. and that's it.